everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pyre here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, have a nice little animal design. It is actually a little kitty cat. Now, I am not a cat person, I prefer dogs, but here is the design. It is a nice, beautiful cat. I've already got all the pilot holes drilled, and as you see, there's quite a few. Never let a bunch of pilot holes and internal cutting intimidate you. We're just going to take our time with it and get the project done. I'm going to stack cut two of the cat at one time out of quarter inch plywood. All my patterns are printed out to full size and photocopied to their correct size and attached to the material with just clear packing tape. The cat also has a frame here and the backer board for the frame will be quarter inch plywood but you have the frame here and you see where the cat's going to go and then the frame has this nice little kitty cat chasing the yarn ball right here. I made this project years and years ago when I very first started scroll sawing. It was probably my very first what you would call an advanced project for me when I very first got into scroll sawing but really really awesome and the frame will be three quarter inch plywood. Um, the pattern comes from Creative Woodworks and Crafts Magazine from the section number two of the April 2004 um, magazine. I can't find the magazine but I do have the full size pattern here which is where I photocopied it on the scanner and printed it out. Whatever happened to Creative Woodworks and Crafts Magazine I really look forward to looking at their stuff because they didn't necessarily focus on scroll saw but a bunch of different forms of woodworking and tarsia, some turning, stuff like that. I'd really like to know what happened to the magazine but right now since the pilot holes are already drilled on the little kitty cat we're going to move the camera over to the workbench, drill our couple pilot holes for this frame, and head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the workbench, we're going to drill the two pilot holes for the frame and start cutting it out first. So we can go on and work on the actual cat piece that has all the detail. I am using number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blades for all the cutting on this project. Now just sanding the frame up and the backer board and we'll go on and glue that up and then we'll go to the scroll saw and start cutting out the cat which has a lot of detail. But like I said, we're just going to take our time with it. For those curious, my tension on my scroll saw is 3.5 and the speed is between a 5 and 6. The little kitty cat has a lot of veining detail that you'll see me do and that's simply where you run the scroll saw blade in and then back it out to leave a nice detail line. Really adds character to a lot of scroll saw projects. And just taking my time and making sure all the cuts are nice and smooth. Again, the pattern came from Creative Woodworks and Crafts Magazine, so I don't know who to credit as the pattern designer. If anyone knows, please leave that down in the description box and comments below. Doing some of the final internal cuts. And then we will begin the long outside cut, which will release the kitten from the wood. And that's what we're doing now. Again, just taking my time and letting the blade do the work. Again, I made this pattern when I first got into woodworking and really learning stuff on the scroll saw. And this was probably my very first intermediate pattern that I had attempted and it came out good but my skills have vastly evolved over the years and I wanted to come back and do this project again. Now that all the cutting is done, we'll release the picture frame from the clamps and the little kitten came out nice and amazing. And before going to sand and we will trim the backer board 
to size of the frame. And then we will head over to the other workbench and sand everything. And I'll be extremely careful with the kitty cat sanding it with 100 grit sandpaper with the palm sander. And now we will go outside to stain the frame a dark color with Minwax wood stain, being sure to get all the details of the little cat at the bottom stained. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'll wipe away the excess and let this dry. And when it is dry, it will be time to glue the kitty cat to the frame and I'll use Gorilla Wood Glue. It always works great. And I'll use some strips of wood and spring clamps to apply pressure. And I'll let that dry around an hour and come back and remove the clamps and take it outside and give it a few coats of clear gloss spray and the project is complete. And here we have the completed kitty cat in the frame. It came out amazing. All the details in the little kitten from the head all the way down to the paws really pops. All the veining work that we've done really really awesome and just adds more and great detail to it. Never be intimidated by a bunch of internal pilot holes or a bunch of veining in a project. Just take your time with it and you'll do fine. The little kitten at the bottom plan with the string and the ball of twine really makes an added touch and I think the two colors, the stain color of the frame and then the natural color of the cat gives it a nice look and a rustic flair to it. So that's really cool too. Again, I said at the beginning of the video, I'm not a cat person. This piece is actually going to a friend down at the beach. She does a lot of work in conservation and I do know that she, in animal rights conservation, and I do know that she um, does enjoy cats and she has a lot of cat decorations so she can add this to her collection really really awesome I can't wait to give this to her I've got another one to finish that I'll finish off camera but it came out really good really awesome the original pattern that was in the magazine I do recall as to wrap it out a notch to put the backer board in to where it would just float in the frame instead of what I done using a full sheet to do the back and it's the same size as the whole frame I'll be the first to say I'm not that comfortable doing all that on a router. I really, really need to step up my router skills, and that's something I hope to do in the future. But that was the actual method of finishing it by putting the little rabbit around to put the backer board in and then glue the cat on. But still, I think it came out amazing. Once again, this pattern came from Creative Woodworks and Crafts Magazine, and I only have the pattern pullout section out here in the workshop. So all the magazines are probably up in the attic, stored away in a storage tote somewhere. So I really can't remember who designed and created this pattern but I do know full step-by-step -step instructions on making this was in that um, magazine as well so if anyone knows who designed this pattern this kitty cat pattern please leave it down in the comments below so I can properly credit the artist of who designed the pattern but really really awesome I had fun making this I hope you guys like watching me make this please continue to like share follow and subscribe to me here on YouTube Instagram and all my social medias if there's ever a question you guys want to ask me about how I do stuff out here in the workshop do not hesitate to ask that's about all for this one remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon